This little video is about screencasting. Um, if you want to do just some short tutorials, the best um, little extension to use is this one here, Screencastify. Uh, you can get that by going to your three dots in Chrome, go to More Tools and Extensions. Now this opens a window with all your different um, extensions and you can see when I scroll down it's in alphabetical order I have quite a few uh, but down here is Screencastify this one here and you can see that it's turned on um, you can see that it's up there in my browser at the top there Screencastify if you don't have it listed there you need to click on your extensions and go right to the bottom where it says open Chrome Web Store and then search for Screencastify. You can see that I've been asked to rate it because I already have it added. You won't, uh, if you don't have it already, then add it to Chrome. There'll be a little box here that says add it to Chrome. So I'm just going to run through what you have to do to make Screencastify work. Once you've installed the extension, you click on it when you're ready to record your screen. Now you have choices here, you can either choose the one tab that you're in or your whole desktop or just the webcam. Because I'm doing an introduction video, I'm going to use the webcam only. My camera is going to be on and I'm choosing the FaceTime camera, you might have other um, choices there. And you just hit record. Three, two, one. You can see that it opens up a new window and you start recording and across the bottom you can see you can pause uh, the time of it. I'm going to stop. This opens up a new see window. That it opens up a new window and you start recording and across the bottom you can and I'll just stop it there. You can see it's just recorded exactly what I said. Um, over here you can see that it has been uploaded to Google Drive, so you set it up to do that. Um, so it sits there in your Google Drive, you can put a link to it in any online environment, but um, if you want to download it um, for any purpose, then you would have to upgrade to uh, more than the free version. So this free version just allows you to store the video on Drive and open up with the Screencastify extension. Um, you can share it also with the um, YouTube, for instance. If you want to trim it, you have to upgrade, and you can also um, delete it if you want to, and you find it's not satisfactory. So that's a good way of introducing yourself. The other extension that I want to tell you about is called Loom. So here is Loom, it's another great extension for screencasting, it's got this particular symbol. So when you click on the extension, it does not record some pages, so I've switched to my calendar here. I'm just going to click on there, and it is loading. Same sort of setup, you have a screen and cam, or the screen only, or just the cam, and you could go straight to the cam only. Um, once again, I need to use the FaceTime camera because I can see down in the corner there that the broadcast one is not working for this extension. So change to the FaceTime and my face pops up. The nice thing is you can and move it anywhere where you like around the screen. Uh, let's put it right in the middle and just start recording very quickly. I'm going to tell you it has a countdown obviously and then you could do your little recording. So very similar to Screencastify, but when you've finished, tick the green tick there, and it's, you now have a URL or a link to it. So that's stored in the cloud, and you can share it with people. You can add a password if, if you want to. So that's straight from Loom, which is in the cloud. So there you have it, two great little extensions for doing screencasting.